That's it, Brian. Yo, what is up guys, Long Live Savages here, and today I'm coming at y'all with a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing who I believe should win the 2017-2018 season awards. With the playoffs winding down and two teams remaining in each conferences, I think this is a perfect time for me to drop a video just like this. Let me know who y'all think is going to win the finals this year in the comments below. But before I get started, I just want to thank all of you guys for 100 subscribers. I had 100 subs a few weeks ago, but I haven't uploaded in a while, so this is kind of like the 100 subscriber special. This is a new kind of video for me, so if you guys want to see more content like this, just make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe. Now without further ado, let's jump into the video. So in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys what players I think are deserving of each award. I know this video is going to, going to get controversial, but make sure you guys hear me out before you guys go into the comments telling me if you think I'm wrong, because I think I made some pretty good points in this video. I'm going to do the list starting from the award I think is least controversial, meaning something we could all probably agree on, and then ending with the award I know you guys are going to trip over. The list is going to go in this order. Coach of the Year, Most Improved Player, Six Men of the Year, Defensive Player of the Year, MVP, and finally, Rookie of the Year. Alright, so now that you guys know the list, let's finally get into the video. Coach of the Year, Brad Stevens. With a record of 55-27, and 27, I feel as if the Boston Celtics exceeded all expectations going to the playoffs. Even though it's a regular season award, I think the way that they're playing in the playoffs should be taken into consideration. I mean, if you look at the roster they started the season with and the roster that they have now, I don't think anybody would have thought the Boston Celtics would have gotten past the second round. But now they're up 2-0 to the Cleveland Cavaliers and fighting for a spot in the finals. But we all know LeBron's going to come back. Hashtag Cavs in 7. But all jokes aside, I think Brad Stevens is the best coach in the NBA. The way he handles himself and his team, especially in clutch moments, I don't think his work should go unnoticed. The only other coach in the NBA I see winning it over him is Quinn Schneider of the Utah Jazz. But I think Brad Stevens has it in the bag, especially since Dwayne Casey just got fired. So now that you guys know my pick for coach of the year, let's get into most improved player. Most improved player, Victor Oladipo. I don't really have much to say for this one. I mean, Victor Oladipo just went from being a solid starter in the NBA to being one of the best shooting guards in the NBA. Last season, he averaged about 15.9 points, 2.6 assists, and 4.3 boards for the Oklahoma City Thunder. This season, he brought all of those averages up to 23.1 points, 4.2 assists, and 5.3 rebounds. To go along with all those stats, he did this in the process. They switched it. 15 Victor. seconds to play. Seven. Here's a three by Oladipo. Oh, bang. he hit it! Victor Oladipo from three-point range! Oh, and the Pacers have a one-point lead! Oh, and this. Oh, yeah. got that when he was tipped off. Beat Smith. And this. Um, LeBron James. So they made the switch. Well, the deep turns the corner. A three. Oh, yes. Victor oh, yes. three. You can see that one. I always knew Victor Oladipo had it in him to be good, but I didn't sure didn't know he was going to be this good. The scary thing is, he's only 26, and he's only going to get better. Now that you guys have my pick for most improved, let's get into six minute of the year. Six minute of the year, Lou Williams. People don't just say six men like Lou Will for nothing. Lou Williams is exactly what you want in a sixth man. He can come off the bench and drop you 20 points and ease. In my opinion, Lou Williams should have been an all-star this year, but that's debatable. This season, he averaged a career high in points, averaging 22.6, and a career high in assists, averaging 5.3. I don't know about you guys, but those are all-star caliber numbers. In fact, he dropped 50 points this season against the Golden State Warriors, including 27 in the third quarter. If he doesn't win sixth man of the year this year, I'll be real shocked. Now that you guys have my pick for 6th man of the year, let's get into defensive player. Defensive player of the year, Kevin Durant. Yes, I know this might be a shocker for most of you guys, but just hear me out. Kevin Durant averaged 1.8 blocks this year, which is 7th in league leaders, along with about 1 steal. His blocks per game tops other big men in the league like Andre Drummond, Dwight Howard, and Yusuf Nurkic. This award can easily go to Rudy Gobert of the Utah Jazz, which I wouldn't even be mad about because he's a true definition of a defensive anchor. 
but I don't think Kevin Durant's defense this year should go overlooked. Obviously, the Warriors lack defense at the center position, but I think KD did a great job filling that piece in this season. Kevin Durant is long enough to play good defense on centers, but at the same time, he's fast and quick enough to keep up with smaller guys in the NBA. Now that you guys have my pick for defensive player of the year, let's get into MVP. Most valuable player, LeBron James. If I was to be real with you guys, I'm 90% sure James Harden is going to be this year's MVP. But LeBron James is having one of the best seasons of his life at the age of 33 in his 15th season. Yes, James Harden is having a terrific season, leading his team to the first seed over the defending champs, the Golden State Warriors, but LeBron James is doing so much for his team, it's unreal. If you were to take LeBron James off the Cleveland Cavaliers, not only are they not making the playoffs, they'll even be in discussion for the first pick in the draft. That's how bad their record would be. No matter how you look at it, LeBron James is the most valuable player for his team than any other player in the league, and he is clearly the best player in the league. I'm not going to get into who I think is the best player of all time or anything like that. That's for a different video. But say what you guys want, LeBron James is the MVP for 2017-2018 season. Now that you guys have my pick for MVP, let's get into the final award for today's video. Rookie of the Year. Rookie of the Year? Andre Ingram. Nah, I'm just playing, guys. Alright guys, so I can't honestly sit here and pick who wins Rookie of the Year between Donovan Mitchell and Ben Simmons. Even though Ben Simmons is my favorite player in the NBA, I can't overlook everything Mitchell has done for the city of Utah. After winning the dunk contest, averaging 20 points per game, beating the Oklahoma City Thunder in the first round, and actually getting a game out of the Rockets in the second round, Donovan Mitchell is looking like a promising player in the NBA. Ben Simmons on the other hand, probably isn't as good as a scorer or shooter as Mitchell, but in my opinion, he's more of an impact on the court than Mitchell. At 6 foot 11, Ben Simmons can literally guard anybody in the NBA with no trouble at all. His vision on the court and ability to set his teammates up for open shots is incredible. We all know Ben Simmons can't shoot from the perimeter, which really limits him, but once he finds a way to shoot somewhat decently, he'll be a scary player in the NBA. And that is all guys. If you guys enjoyed today's video and want to see more content like this, make sure you guys press the like button and subscribe. Let me know down in the comments if y'all agree or disagree with anything I said. I would love to hear y'all opinion. If y'all can get this video to 20 likes, I'll drop a similar video like this next week. I don't know, maybe this is going to be a regular thing on this channel. It's all up to you guys. But anyways, hope you guys have a good day and I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.